Where are they? They should have been here ages ago. Mel, are you able to locate their position? I am constantly trying, but I believe these mountains are blocking my signal. We should be able to reach them from higher ground. Great. David has never been in time. Let's walk this way. I can't wait to get back to the colony. I'm tired of all these excursions, examining rocks and doing these experiments for a cause not related to our own. Don't forget the importance of this mission you are carrying out. It is in the interest of the human race. Yeah, I know that, but Earth is almost like a thing out of a fairy tale. No one from the colony has ever set their foot there in the first place. And still, here we are, running their errands. We don't even have confirmation that the samples we sent back there are getting them anywhere. Have faith. What? Faith? Do you mean like in a higher being? I am a scientist born in space. Faith and belief is for the unprogressed and lost ones back there. I am sorry. I must be lacking vocabulary updates. That's fine. I know you would not believe in such a thing anyway. But really, what I don't think they accounted for is that it only takes a few generations before our connection to their home is lost. My human instinct tells me to survive here, where I was born. For your survival and sustained future here, there are certain paths that needs to be taken. As a child of the third generation, you must still follow these through. On that note, have you spoken to Quan regarding your genetic match? Um, no. No, I haven't. You should. It is crucial that inhabitants of this colony mate with their right genetic match. I know. Well, don't get me started on that. Your bravery and sacrifice goes far beyond theirs on Earth. You are the very frontier of the human lifeline. If you want me to, I could rearrange your schedules for maximized encounter. Please, just leave it. Your choice. It always amazes me how you do that. The energy you just extracted will keep you going for another month at least. From rocks. The fact that it can be that simple. With enough time and an eager mind, we will explore and discover the unknown. Is it not beautiful? <laughs> Did that really come from you? The matter within and around us, all shaped out of dust from exploded stars, sitting in an ever-expanding vastness of something, accelerated by the surrounding energy of nothing, all part of the very space-time we choose to call the universe. And beyond its reach, there will probably be more to find. Because like so many things we've come to know of, singularities do rarely occur. I do not have to be human to acknowledge the beauty of this world. In fact, my understanding for its brilliant complexity goes far beyond the capacity of any man or woman, including yours. About time. <laughs>